Hello everyone, so I am Dr. Praveen Kumar Gupta and today we will demonstrate you the procedure of the blood grouping, the forward and the reverse grouping and two methods we are talking about, one is a slide agglutination and one will tube agglutination. So let's first see what all do we require for this. The first thing we require for the slide method is just some slides. We require normal saline and you see this is a pastel perfect. Okay, this one is a pastel perfect. We have distilled water, marker, normal saline, which has to be put in this beaker. Okay. More importantly, okay, we have some uh, beads for the mixture. For this, this will be used for mixing of the samples. We have some important anti A monoclonal antibody, which is blue in color, anti B monoclonal antibody, which is yellow in color. And for looking for the RH group, we have anti D. Notice it is IgM and IgD, which is also a monoclonal antibodies. Now, in these methods, we usually need to look for two things. First, we do a forward grouping. So, what basically is a forward grouping? We look for the antigen on the RBCs. Okay. And on those antigens, to look for those antigens, what we add is an antibody to that corresponding antigen. For example, if a RBC has an antigen A, so we will put in an anti A antibody, and if these two are present, they will provide illumination which will visualize in the slide method. Secondly, we can also do a reverse uh, grouping. What we do in a reverse grouping is we take the plasma from that uh, blood which has always spilled out, and in that plasma, we add a in house made A cell, B cell, or a D O cell. So that is actually a reverse grouping. So basically, in a forward grouping, we look for the antigen in the RBC. And reverse looping, we look in a we look for the antibody in the plasma. One thing you should know that in a slide method, we can only look for the forward uh, forward looping. While in a tube animation, we can look for both forward and reverse looping. And the tube method is the method to look for the uh, any blood groups. Notice that a slide method can be done only for an emergency procedure. However, a tube method is always done for a routine procedure to confirm that particular blood group. Let's start the procedure now. The first thing we do here is, first of all, we'll label the slide. Labeling is the most important part of any test that we do. What I'm writing here is A, I will writing here B, and I'm writing here D. So D will signify the RH antigen, okay? I'm looking for the forward grouping. That is what we do in a slide iodination test. Now, please understand, we have to take a sample, and the sample should be an EDDA sample, okay? EDDA sample. Now, what I'm doing is, I'll first take this sample and take out the blood from it blood means we'll have to make a rbc that you can either make an rb suspension or you can directly put the blood what i will be doing here is i'm directly putting the blood here so this is a pastor pipette i'm putting it in the blood and i'm putting one drop of blood into the a look i'm putting it into the a then i'll put one drop into the b and i also put one drop into the d okay d is the rs please remember d is the rh group of testing now, what I'll do in the next part is, remember, we are looking for the forward grouping. So, we are looking from the antigen from the RBC side and now we're taking out the antibody. These are commercially prepared antibodies which are usually of IgM type so that it can be reacting at the room temperature. Look, this is the anti-A. The blue one is anti -A. They all are color coded, right? Now, see, this is the anti-A. I'm putting it over the A marked. I'll now be putting the anti B. Now you have to notice the color again. It is yellow in color. This is anti B. Now what is mixture is? It's an antibody with a slight amount of IgM, IgM antibody and a slight amount of complement here so that it can show the agglutination. Okay. Now why IgM guys? So that it can be it can react on the room temperature as well. Now this is anti D. It's a transparent fluid. Okay. Now we'll try to mix this up with the help of a small plastic tube. Okay, I'm mixing it up. I'm mixing anti A. Now throw this. We'll throw this away so that it doesn't get contaminated in the B one. I will take a new one and again mix with the anti B now. Okay, anti B. Then I will again take a new one and mix the anti D. Okay, D with the anti D. Okay. Now see. Because we are looking for the forward grouping, we if there comes an agglutination, we are sure it is that group of antigen, right? Now, what I'll do, I'll just wait for some time, maybe 2-3 minutes in the room temperature and now I will put it, take it up and I will rock it, okay? 
so see when there's a rotation movement here when there's a rotation movement here look what is the act rotation you can very clearly see the act rotation has come in the a it has come in the b and it's very strong act rotation right so blood group is definitely a b right now look here there is a d right it's also coming positive so what is our blood group in the forward grouping it is a b positive what is it a b positive look so beautifully it is coming a b positive right a b positive Thank you.